This tutorial will illustrate how to set up a model for a response spectrum analysis. We will start with a simple planar model similar to that previously used for the mass and modal analysis tutorial. Where we requested two modes. We start by defining the response spectrum to be used. We have many to choose from, and in this case, we will use an IBC 2006 curve. We will give the function the name IBC 06 RS. For this response spectrum, the parameters can be user defined or determined automatically by the program based on either latitude, longitude, or by zip code. For this example, we will enter our home office zip code of 94704. The program determines the values based on USGS data. We will adjust the site class to C which is for very dense soil and soft rock. Moving the cursor over the graph obtains the coordinates at any point. Next, we will define a load case to include the response spectrum. We will call the new case RSP and will select response spectrum as the type. We have a number of ways that we may combine the modes for a given direction, including CQC, square root sum of the squares, absolute sum, and others, but we will use the complete quadratic combination here. If we are applying excitation in more than one direction, we could combine the directional responses using either SRSS or ABS. And the analysis will use modes defined by the modal case. The response spectrum will be applied as an acceleration in the U1 direction using the previously defined curve, but we will need to apply a scale factor to convert from G units to inch units. Double clicking while holding the shift key brings up the calculator box. For the damping, we have a number of options, but we will use the default of 5% constant damping. Now we are ready to run the analysis. We will run both the modal and RSP cases. We can view the deformed shape for the response spectrum case by going to the display show deformed shape command and selecting the RSP case. We can also view output in tabular form, such as for displacements. Here we will ask for output for just the RSP case. Note the loss of signs due to the modal combination technique. This concludes this tutorial.